you look like you just seen a corpse. Well, the roads are effed, and something's wrong with the generator. Which generator? All of them. Think it on the internet! Uh, also, there's a dead body under your porch. Holy! Ah! Maybe you're a werewolf. Maybe you're a werewolf. You're a werewolf. You're a werewolf. You're a werewolf. Maybe we're all werewolves. Are we really in a Mexican standoff right now? Maybe. Don't say Mexican. Just stand up. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you too, man. Thank you so much for a funny, spooky movie. I mean, what a great time this movie was. Thank you. It was so fun to make it too, so I'm glad you enjoyed it. Well, you know, you play one half of Beaverfield's most wealthy couple, but their idea of roughing it, it's kind of different from everyone else's, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit more glamping than anything. It's not really much camping, it's more glamping. As you can tell from Joaquin's, you know, uh, gloves that really aren't, you know, helpful during winter. They're just really thin layered <laughs> gloves that barely cover your knuckles. Uh, but they, they want to rough it out, you know, they want to be uh, connected to the earth. So this is what it means to be connected to them. <laughs> And you know, there's a, it's a blend of mystery and horror. There's a werewolf running around, but it could be anyone. We don't know who it is. And your couple is just, they're totally oblivious, aren't they? I mean, there's danger at every turn and they're more worried about probably their spa treatment, right? Or <laughs> Yeah, I think that's more, you know, for them, the, the decision of what's going on with the pipeline doesn't really affect them. They, you know, they have money. They, they uh, can easily make a choice that won't affect the rest of their lives. But also with that same... Uh, idea they deal with other stuff uh, in the movie that they feel prejudice against them for being you know a queer but uh, being in a small town and that controversy as well so sometimes you know the werewolf is every one of us just because of the monster that lives inside and we allow to show its ugly face when put up to the task <laughs> it's a teaching moment while you laugh <laughs> it is the lesson <laughs> and with such a big cast i love how everyone has a chance to shine you know, everybody has their moment. And not only that, there's so much going by with this movie. I, I wanna watch it again because there's little moments, especially you, you give these little looks or you say something on your breath, you know, things go by so fast in this movie. Yeah, there was, there was a lot of things that, you know, something to the director of like, uh, you know, we, we just sometimes improvise on the set as well. Uh, and the, some of the lines that were captured, we have to go back and be like, oh, we have to do that again because that was really funny. But that person did it over there in the back room where the camera wasn't even angled that way, but now we heard it through the monitor. So there was all these moments of, uh, it was just so great. There was so much footage. I, I can't with some of the extra footage that we have that didn't make it into the film because so much great content. And this cast is so funny. It was just hard to, keep a straight face on set. <laughs> now you on a personal level because everyone is so funny in this movie, who cracked you up the most? Which character, which actor just, your, what was your favorite that's busted you up every time? Oh gosh, I, there was so many. <laughs> I think George would always crack me up, uh, Sam, uh, Mills, Michaela. I'm just gonna name the whole cast. Like I'm just gonna name the whole cast because at this point, Hard to pick. I have one memory of each cast member just cracking me up and uh, you know, it was just, it was, it was such a fun experience. So every one of them, I can't even pick one. This is a real Sophie's choice. I can't just pick one. Was there a particular scene, do you remember, where you just couldn't get through it because people were cracking up? I mean, was there a particular line or moment where you're like, we're never gonna get through this day or were everyone professionals the whole time? Nobody cracked up. No, no, there was moments where we were just laughing, uh, hysterical. Uh, I think one of the moments for me was in the hallway when Michaela is walking out um, looking for her husband and I walk out of my room and we do like three takes because I would improvise a different line every time. And I couldn't keep a straight face because Michaela would also improvise. So it was like, the, the take was ruined. I open the door and she says something new and I just start laughing. I have to go back into the room, come back again. She says something new and I start. So there was, a, there was that moment I remember specifically. And then we're shooting also at night. So it was like three in the morning, we have the giggles and we're shooting and everyone, but everyone's in good spirit. So it's always fun to be on a set that you you wouldn't mind who you bump into at four in the morning because it brings a smile to your face. And most of the movie takes place, you're snowed in, the end is werewolves on the loose. Was that a real set? I mean, was that a real inn? Because it was just beautiful. Yeah, it was a real place. It was in upstate New York uh, in the Catskills. Um, we shot in three different locations of town uh, and uh, we also shot in an inn, like an actual like bed and breakfast you can stay in where the actual cabin that we shot in was, and it was just great. It was so perfect. It was snowing, it was winter. 
we were in the middle of nowhere. You couldn't hear, you know, it was like pitch black outside at night and it was so quiet. You could hear a pin drop. So it was the perfect setting for it. And also, I can't think of a better co-star for you than Cheyenne Jackson. What a, what a great guy, huh? I know. What is that? Isn't that so great? I remember talking to the director and he asked me, who do you think, you know, would play opposite you in this new age couple, you know, uh, being this like power queer couple? And I said, oh, Cheyenne Jackson. He's like, okay. And the next thing you know, Cheyenne Jackson was in the film. So it was so- The physical cool. differences and the physical differences was funny too, you know? Exactly. It was the height and like, you know, I'm like over here, short and stout. He's like tall. And like, it was just a great, it was so great to work with him. Just he's so giving and, and to this day, we're just really good friends. He, he was just in Europe filming. He was texting me from Europe and Aww. it was just, it's so great to, to meet uh, someone that for years you've known of their work and you're so, uh, such a fan of theirs, you know, and you're like, oh, such a great, you know, musical theater performer, such a performer all around and to get to work with him now. So it's really great. Well, Harvey, thank you so much for a wonderful film. Thanks for talking today. Good luck at the Tribeca Film Festival where, the, where Werewolves Within is premiering. Good luck with that. June 16, check it out if you're in Tribeca around the area or June 25th, uh, Nationwide Theaters. And then come see us in Las Vegas. We're opening June 1st. We'd love to have you. All right. <laughs>